Today I'm going to unbox the My K-Cup reusable coffee filter for the Keurig coffee system. This product retails for about $16 at your local store. So we'll unbox it and then I'm going to show you how easy it is to fill with coffee and then we're going to test it out. The first thing that you're going to notice is that all of the My K-Cups are sealed and that's always a good thing to look for if you're buying in store you want to make sure that your unit is brand new. So I always like to look for that little seal. So let's open up this beautiful little product. Comes in a bag. You get instructions as well. But you're not going to need these because I'm going to show you how do you actually put this all together and use it. So here is the heart of the system. To take off the top, you simply turn it, give it a little bit of a twist, and it comes right off. Inside, you have a beautiful little mesh filter. Really nice. And it works really well. And then the bottom part of the actual filter system. So you fill this with coffee, you drop that in there, you grab this, line it up, give it a little twist, boom bada bing, done, and you are ready to pop that into your coffee system. So for our next step, I'm going to show you how easy it is to fill with your favorite coffee. Now we're going to fill the My K-Cup reusable filter. I have a medium ground coffee right here. I'm going to grab my filter, give it a little twist, remove the top, take out the actual filter itself, bring my coffee over here, and I'm simply going to fill this. Get it up to about there, maybe a little more. You don't want to go over the top. Anything at the top, just give it a little wipe. Perfect. Grab your bottom. I'll tilt it like this so you can actually see it. Just drop that right in there. Take your top, turn, and you are ready to go. So I've got my coffee system set up here and we are ready to go. When we open up the latch here, you'll notice that the insert that you usually use with the regular K-Cups is in here. You simply take your hand, slide it underneath, and just give it a little push and this just pops right out very easily, just like that. So I've got my beautiful brand new Tim Hortons coffee cup ready to go. I got that as a Christmas gift. Really, really nice cup. I'm going to take the filter that we just filled and what's so nice about this system is that you do not have to align anything. You just take it and you just drop it in and it is ready to go. Close your latch and then the last thing to do is just press your button and it's going to start brewing. So I'll just let that go and I'll be back in a second when it's done. So there we have it. The brewing cycle has just ended and we have our great cup of coffee ready to go at a fraction of the price. And to remove the filter, it's just as easy. Open the latch, grab your filter and pull it out. So I've just lowered the camera a little bit and zoomed in just so that you can see the beautiful cup of Tim Hortons coffee. And just for fun, I'm going to show you the carousel where I store the actual filters just so that you can see how I do it at my home. So here's my carousel that holds all of the K-Cups. And you're wondering, well, where are the reusable ones? Well, let's turn this around. And there we have them. Two here and two underneath. My routine every night is to rinse these out I let them dry, then I fill them with coffee and they are ready to go the next morning. So really, really simple. And this video would not be complete if I didn't show you how to actually empty one of these out. So I'm going to do that right now. So here we have the used My K-Cup filter. I'm going to grab this and just give it a little twist to remove the top. And then I'm just going to turn this upside down. The filter just comes out really nicely. You can just rinse this out if you wish. And then what I do is, I like to just tap it like this. So that takes out the majority of the coffee grounds. If you're not going to be using this right away again, then just rinse it under the tap and that will just completely remove everything. Turn it upside down to dry and it's ready to go. 
If you're going to be making another cup of coffee right away, you can just simply tap and then load it up with your fresh grounds and you're ready to go again. So that's it. There's really not much more to say about this product. I really, really like it. So you get that, that, and the little filter. Beautiful little system, very easy to clean, very easy to fill, and you're gonna produce a very inexpensive cup of coffee. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Oh, that is good.